Hi everyone, today I am going to talk to you about classroom management. So as a consultant, I am privy to watching a lot of classrooms and how teachers teach. And there are some very common um, errors or you might say drawbacks that teachers exhibit over and over again across several schools. So I thought I will talk about that to you so that you do not commit those same mistakes in your classroom. It makes a huge difference if you can avoid these problems. So the first one is group answering. Video your classrooms and check to see if students are group answering, if they are group chanting something or if they are group reading something. All these are a waste. Why are they a waste? Because when children read as a whole class, it is a lot of noise. You do not get to hear the individuals, you do not get to hear those that are not speaking at all and you do not get much out of it. So group answering, you must stop. Get them to read in pairs if you like, roster them. So the second point is rostering. How do you roster children? When you roster children, everybody gets a chance, but not on the same day, but over maybe two or three or four days. So you can keep a long cup in which you put ice cream sticks with children's names and you pick them out and when the child has finished, you put it into an empty one so that you know the turn is over. When this is completely empty, then you can start over again. So that is a great way of rostering. You can also roster in your books, that also can be done. <coughs> Another way to do it is to give them a very quick test that they can peer correct in the classroom. So do not take home 40 papers, simply get it peer corrected. When they peer correct, you take the papers home and check students who have made mistakes. What you can do is you can roster those very kids to give you answers in class so that they know and you know that you are keeping a watch and you are helping them to improve. So that is how we roster to remediate. The third one, third error that I have found is that there is a waste of time when students are writing a composition. So you have the teacher either sitting in her chair or just walking around aimlessly, can't really stand over a child and read everything he is writing. So what happens is they just walk around. Instead, use that time for doing oral work. So call kids out one by one and have a conversation with them just outside the classroom so that you know how they speak, what are the grammatical mistakes they make, what sort of vocabulary they use, what kind of ideas they have. You will be able to gauge a lot as far as their oral work is concerned while the others are writing. When they finish send them back and they continue writing the next child comes up. So that way you can manage your time well. The fourth one is group work and instructions. Whenever you ask children to do teamwork, there is a huge hullabaloo in class. That happens because instructions are not clear. The teacher needs to give students all the instructions that they require before starting the game. She needs to put it on the board if necessary. Or she can get a child to demonstrate, two children to demonstrate what they have understood. There are many ways, but those instructions must be crystal clear. They can bear repetition, couple of repetitions. Take that time because you will save a lot of time in the kind of chaos that is going to ensue if you go without proper instructions. So that is one thing to do. 
arrangement when you get children to turn their chairs around and sit in a group you can always do it with a game so play a game how do you play a game you say clap 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 on my third clap i want the front rows to turn their chairs around so clap 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 and chairs around so you will find that they are now sitting as fours facing one another first time it might be a little bit of a problem if they are a lower class but they'll soon get used to it and that kind of gaming is good instead of you physically going and turning around all the chairs it takes a lot of time if you are passing paper make sure you give it to the first row and everybody else gets a paper that is passed down very simple very quick anything that you need to do on that paper should be on the board they should know exactly what to do you want their names their dates written every instruction must be clear crystal clear otherwise you have students asking miss what should i do where should i write my name should it be on the left should it be on the right there's so much chaos in a group activity classroom if you do this you will get a class that is comfortable silent and who starts their work immediately and then of course you can walk around and help those who haven't quite got there so guys that's the fourth one i had the fifth one is flip your classroom how do you flip your classroom the material that you are planning to teach especially if it is simple or it's interesting or it's a story or whatever give it to the students two or three days before the date of the class let them read it let them understand whatever they can understand from it they don't have to understand everything whatever you understand on the day you have that class call three students out and tell them to teach the concept they're going to teach it not very successfully maybe they are going to teach it half and half maybe there will be gaps in their teaching but it doesn't matter because it's their work and they have done it independently so that's something to celebrate so you get them to teach you can stop after 5 minutes and call another three to continue the class so you can give a fairly large surface area to show off their learning and you can meanwhile sit at the back and note all the gaps you can queue question and ask them to fill the gaps or at the end you can go and finish the teaching but that's a great way to get children to participate to make them feel empowered to show off their understanding to build confidence that they are able to do at least half that lesson on their own so these are some excellent ways of getting your class in order your class participating and your class enjoying their lessons i hope you enjoyed this one classroom management very important for teacher health this is usha pandit signing off mind springs